Jack's Tiny House was recently completed, and uh, he reached out to us letting us know that he wanted to do a tour for our channel. So, he, although his tiny house is not for sale, he wanted to share his tiny house as inspiration for all of you guys out there watching. And the price of his tiny house was just a little over $20,000. Uh, so he found ways to cut costs throughout the build. Uh, but thanks for Jack for sharing, and I hope you all enjoy the tour. guys this is it this is the tiny house tour that you guys wanted we're gonna go on the outside of the tiny house first and then I'll show you the inside uh, this is a 20 foot by 9 foot by 14 foot high tiny house the outside I have cedar and also like a congruent metal as you can see on both of the sides and I just tilled this up this little area up put a, like a whole little flower bed in here and then also you know, make it look pretty stuff like that like, three or four like pine trees. So let's come back over here and show you uh, how I charge my Tesla and then also the composting area. So over here is like where I'm putting all my compost and uh, eventually I'm gonna turn that into like a flower bed. The goal here is to make it fully off the grid and self-sustainable. Just threw up like a couple pallets and then after I make uh, some composting and everything and I'll dump it in there and then we'll we'll make it into like a beautiful flower bed so it's not so uh, disgusting. <laughs> this is the back side of the, the home. We put a driveway in. This is kind of like the, the, the brains, the guts of the tiny home in a way. Uh, this is, right now we're on um, just regular electric, uh, but the, the goal is, like I said, to do fully off the grid, meaning like solar and wind, because we get a lot of wind out here. As you guys seen in my last video, I made a French drain, what it looks like now, and we just covered it up with the gravel as well. Um, the whole the whole tiny home itself is fully like fully electric. Um, there's no propane or anything, so I got a um, electric uh, heat heaters, ele electric water heaters, uh, and then electric stove, two burner top stove. So this is the breakers. And then here's my Tesla charger itself. And as you can see, this is just like the regular Tesla charger that comes with the car. And I'm able to charge my car. If I if I maxed out the amperage to 32, I'd probably be able to charge it in about three hours. But because I'm not driving every day, I only need to do that for, um, I, I can lower the amperage, which is better on the battery. And then also it just takes longer. So maybe like eight to 10 hours of uh, charging. This is where I, I uh, hook up a hose, just a regular hose, uh, to uh, get my water. There's a tiny little filter inside that kind of filters the water. I don't drink this water, I just use it for like washing my hands, taking a shower, or using it for a washer and dryer. Last week we got a gutter system. We got that all the way around here. And it's, this is just temporary right now, it's not really uh, hung up on anything around this area. I'd say about around this area, we're gonna have a 250 gallon tank in which we'll catch the rain, rainwater, and then it's just gonna have a bunch of filters. So uh, that way I can actually shower with it and then I can actually drink it and use it and not get sick. So that, and then this side right here is just the, uh, the, the bathroom area all the way up to the top loft. I have a, uh, what they call a shed pitch roof instead of like a, a regular traditional roof. I just have shed pitch. I picked that just because I thought it looked very um, more like more modern. The, the roof is uh, the same as this congruent metal. So just like this. Uh, right now you just we're just it's just kind of strapped down. Uh, right now I mean that's just pretty much what you have to do. Yeah that's the outside. Um, and then maybe in the future I'll have my own little garden right here to actually make like uh, like food vegetables other than what's over here which is just you know flowers and uh, stuff to make the tiny house outside look more pretty so let's go on the inside and I'll show you around So welcome. 
welcome, welcome inside the tiny home, the 240 square foot tiny house. Uh, first of all, all the wood that is inside this tiny house is pine, and uh, the pine wood that's on this is called beetle kill pine. The story behind that is, I guess, all this wood was dead in the forest, where uh, then a bunch of beetles grouped together and I guess ate ate it or something I have no idea but I just know it's something with beetles and it was dead and it came back and now it's here and this is just regular pine I built this railing and you'll see all these rails throughout the entire home I'm going to put a bunch of plants in here I already put my my Boston ferns it's just a railing for that this area what I did have like a uh, big like love sack and uh, a bunch of other like my my cat house over here but I thought this would be a better station for where my computer is. This is just from Ikea. It's like a marble, it's like a marble uh, desk. And then my setup, pretty simple. On the floor here, we have a cow rug, hide rug. So just thought that would be an interesting uh, piece like a, uh, almost like a like a centerpiece that you would have in the, in the in a regular home. So let's go over into the kitchen where we'll start with this. This is a butcher block countertop with a two burner top stove electric. I built uh, another railing, so I just kind of wanted to make it look as like cabiny in here and homey as possible. So I wanted all the open cabinetry. I built all this by hand. And I always thought it would look really cool with like pans hanging, you know, kind of like a cabin, cabin vibe. This is where Phoenix likes to hang out sometimes. Uh, this is right here is just where I store my bowls and pans and uh, cups. Just regular drawers. Just regular stuff. Um, as soon as I got this, I, uh, I stained it. And it did look a little lighter, uh, lighter than this really. So it turned it a different color, which is really cool, a little darker color. With the butcher block countertop, I got a farm sink. I think this is a 27 inch farm, deep farm sink with a black hose. And then what you just heard is the pump. And then uh, here is the pump. So it's just a tiny little pump is a 30 gallon water tank so pretty much what uh, that hose that you guys remember on the outside I just connected to a regular hose uh, this is 30 gallons so all right, it probably lasts me I'd say about a week week and a half depending uh, you know if I'm doing laundry or stuff like that also built these uh, shelves and I decorated it with all my license plates and then some friends license plates right here just, again making it look more cabiny. I thought that looked really cool. Centerpiece of the tiny home, I think, is this tiny little wood stove. And yeah, it it works. I haven't tried it yet, but I know it works. Um, this is I just I I didn't know where I wanted it in the tiny house when they were building it, but now that I see it right in the center, right next to the staircase, I don't see it anywhere else. A couple little sticks in there and. With the tiny house being 240 square feet, I don't think I'll have a problem keeping this place warm. <laughs> this is where I'll store all the wood. There's a little nook right here. It also came with a just a tiny, a tiny fridge. Has freezer, and then just a regular fridge. Enough storage space that I can put like my bread up here and everything. Another storage loft. Um, you can also put a twin size bed here if you want to, but I just put a bunch of stuff that I'm not using as of right now, so I just, it's just pretty much a storage lot for me right now. Head in to the bathroom. This is the cedar wood shower. I keep my mop and my uh, broom in here just because, you know, with a tiny home being as tiny as it is, it need, you need to be able to, you know, utilize space as much as you can. So it's got all LED lighting. And then right here is another one of the rails that I made. I uh, still gotta get the shower curtain. And then I'm um, all throughout the entire tiny home, I have these shelves that I made. 
by hand. For this one, I have to put the same sealant as the shower, so, and then I'll be able to nail her on there. And then that can put my, um, you know, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash right there. This is the composting toilet. You guys know what a composting toilet is, so I don't want to show you anything. Um, but this is the instant electric water heater. And this thing's pretty cool. You can just, uh, you know, just instant, and it's electric. And it's super small and does the job. Pedestal sink, and it comes with a light. And then uh, here's another, a couple more of the shelves that I built uh, for all my uh, bathroom needs. Just a regular light right here. And then throughout the home, I got three uh, electric heaters. So if I don't want to run the firewood stove, I can run this, which is a touch screen. So that'll be coming in handy during the winter. Phoenix's kitty litter box. And then I also made another one of these rails for all my coat, ha uh, coat hanging and then uh, my book bag hanging and everything. And then we come over here. I made another rail for my shower. So just, you know, towel rack. Here is my washer and dryer. So this is a washer and dryer combo. Um, does the job. I got some towels in there right now. I just store like all my laundry needs right here, my hats, and then usually my towels. So that's the bathroom. Let's uh, come upstairs and I'll show you the loft. With these stairs, you know you're utilizing space in the in the in the tiny home. So they made um, they made these stairs drawers for all my clothes. So there's one. There's all my t-shirts. There's all my jeans. You know, sock and underwear. So, that's really handy when it comes to a tiny home because you want to utilize all the space. Another rail, uh, railing that I made out of the same um, iron piping. It's called uh, black iron piping. So, here is the loft area. Uh, this is a walk-in bedroom loft. That's what they call it. So, usually a tiny home would come... Like the stairs would come all the way up and then the loft would all continue all the way right here. And then, um, you know, you're crawling, essentially. And you got more stairs, potentially, you know, you're going to fall or whatever. I wanted a walk-in loft. I'm like 5'7". Uh, my dad's almost 6 foot and he can, he can stand all the way up to the top. So there's a lot of space in here. And it's nice to not just have to crawl up onto the loft area. I got a queen-size bed in here. Um, and then it's just got like three little rectangle windows, and then I have another window right here, just a regular square one. And I got a regular air conditioner that it keeps the tiny house more than cool. Uh, that's all you really need, or you could have a mini split if you wanted to. All right, guys, so that pretty much concludes the tiny house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, it's a simple lifestyle. If you guys got any questions, drop them in the comments below, and I'll be sure to answer them. And until next time.